Hello, my name is Shona Virtue. I'm a yoga teacher and a personal trainer, and I have teamed up with Kaspersky to offer you a quick yoga sequence to help you shake off a few cobwebs, while you also allow your device to get its own kind of reset. Listen, we all know that updating your phone or updating your software can be a bit of a pain in the neck, but I'll tell you what is also a pain in the neck. Spending all day hovering over your devices like so. so take a break, allow your device to have a break as well, and come get your yoga on with me. This routine is designed specifically to help protect your posture, particularly if you're spending all day like this. And just like a security patch, it's gonna leave you moving smoothly and, well, feeling great. So, let's do this. So we're gonna begin in a seated position. Now you can either raise your hips by sitting on a cushion or some blocks, or if it's really uncomfortable for you to sit on the floor, you can always sit on the sofa or on a chair. Whatever you do, you wanna be comfortable, able to relax your shoulders, sitting up with a nice tall spine, and able to move your neck. We're gonna begin the practice with neck controlled articular rotations. So we need to make sure that we're bracing through our spine in order to ensure that we're just gonna be moving the neck only. What you're gonna do is make two fists with your hands and squeeze your fists and start to activate the muscles in your arms, in your chest slightly, and brace through your core. We're then gonna drop the chin to the chest. And from here, take the chin over to the left collarbone. From there, drop the head, the head to the left shoulder. Begin to drop the head back. Chin goes up towards the ceiling and we take our neck in a circle, taking a semicircle with the chin. Move over to the other side. Right ear to right shoulder. Chin down to the right collarbone. And then back to center. Let's reverse it. We'll go the other direction. Chin over to the collarbone, ear to shoulder, head begins to drop back. We take it all the way around to the other side, chin to the collarbone, back to center, and then lift the head back up. Good, so let's just repeat that. Drop the chin down to the chest, take it across to the other side, all the way around, over to the right side. Chin down to center, reverse the movement. Chin to the right, ear, Drop it back, take it around, other side, center, and lift the head. So just keep doing that in your own time. And while you're doing that, I'm just gonna call attention to the rest of your body. What we wanna make sure is that we're keeping the rest of the body braced. As you start to move that neck around in circles, you may have noticed, or maybe you haven't noticed, that parts of your chest, Maybe your hips have started to move as well. And these are called controlled articulations for a reason. They're controlled in one particular area. And for this, we're working through the neck. We want to be aware of where exactly we have true range. So we need to make sure that everything else is braced and we're just paying attention to the range that we have, our flexibility, our level of mobility in our neck only. Let's go one more round of those neck controlled articular rotations. And then we'll lift the head and come back to center. Now from here, we're just gonna take the head to the left and to the right. Quite literally turning your head. Let's take it to the left first. Now, when you do that, I want you to pay attention to whether your chest had to move to get you more range. So we wanna keep the chest still, keep the hips still, keep everything else still. Come back to center, take it to the other side. And I just want you to pay attention to any discrepancies in your range and your mobility left to right, right? Mobility is much like a muscle, right? We either use it or we lose it. So if you're not trying to access that range, your body will start to shut it down. So we wanna to start to ensure that we have, and we're making full use of the range that our neck has. All right, come back to center. Come to interlace your fingers, stretch your hands forward, get a nice stretch for the forearms and the fingers, and then we'll continue to take the arms up above the head. Lengthening all the way up, feel as though you're pulling away from your hips, lengthen. And then exhale, we're gonna take the hands behind the head. So keep the fingers interlaced. 
Take a deep breath in, lift up the chin and the chest towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna exhale, drop the chin down to the chest and bring the elbows in together. Inhale, begin to lift up. So we're matching the breath and the movement. Elbows go out to the side as we lift through the sternum, dropping the head back into the hands. And then exhale, chin to chest, elbows come together. And then round all the way forward. Inhale, feel as though the breath moves you into that extended position, lifting up through the chest. Exhale, chin to chest, everything comes back down. Inhale again, and then exhale. Beautiful, release the hands, come back to center. We're gonna come into a side stretch now. So bring the right fingertips down to the floor beside you. If you're not on the floor, you can just have your arm rested by your side, or grab underneath the chair or grab onto the sofa. Left hand is going to reach up and over. And we wanna think up and then over, not just straight over, because we wanna create length in the spine first. So really think left arm reaches up, stretch up and out of the hip on that left side. And as you do, you wanna pin that left hip bone to the floor or to the chair. So don't let it pop off. Good, really stretching over. We'll drop the arm and we'll unroll back up to center. Let's go the other side. So right arm goes up and over. Take it all the way up, lengthen first, then take it over to the side. Keep pinning that right hip down to the floor, to the chair, as you stretch out of your hip. Drop that arm back down and come back to center. We'll take the other side again, inhale. Reach it up and over. And then exhale, bring it back down. Right side, inhale. Take it all the way up, lengthen, exhale, hand comes back down and we come back to center. Beautiful. Those of you on the chair, we're gonna make our way down to the floor now. Take your hands forward, come into an all fours position for some cat cow. So lubricating the spine a little bit more. So hands are shoulder distance apart, knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop the belly down and lift up through the head and the hips as we take a breath in. And then as you exhale, starting from the belly button, I want you to draw the belly button in towards the spine, begin to push the floor away and feel your vertebra very slowly, vertebra by vertebra, start to round, start to flex, dropping the head at the last moment. And then inhale, opening up into that extension. We'll start from the hip, start to move through the lumbar spine, thoracic, head is the last thing to come up. And then exhale, starting at the belly button, pull in, begin to tip and tuck the pelvis, round the upper spine and head drops down. A couple more times, inhale, drop the belly, lift the head and the hips. Exhale, belly button to the spine, push the floor away, head down. Good, come back to a neutral spine here. Find a nice neutral spine, belly draws in. You're gonna extend the right leg back behind you. Now notice when you do this, we wanna make sure that your lumbar spine doesn't bend. So we don't want a big banana back. We wanna keep a nice stable core here. So belly stays pulling in. And I want your glute to be doing the work. So hip extension. Keep pushing firmly into the hands. Squeeze that right glute. Now at the same time, I want you to extend your left arm. So we need some contralateral stability here. So the left arm is gonna extend forward, lengthen out, and then exhale, bring the elbow to the knee, the knee to the elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it back in. Now notice, inhale as you extend, don't go into banana back. I want you to maintain that strong core. So we're teaching the right glute to switch on here. Not going into a back bend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Place it back down onto the floor and we will change sides. So let's go. Left leg extends back behind you first. And when you go into it, you might find you immediately go into that back bend. And I want you to draw the belly in, correct the pelvis and feel, you can even like go and grab it with your hand, make sure that your left glute is switching on here. And then it's level. Okay, right arm is gonna extend forward, extend it, breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale back into that neutral spine position, and then exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, extend out. And then exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, extend out, and then we'll come back to center, into that all fours position. 
we're gonna stretch into the glute a little bit here. So from your all fours position, what I'd like you to do is you're going to extend the left leg back behind you. So it's just straighten that leg, keep the toes on the floor. Now with your right leg, your right toes are gonna to come over to the left side slightly. So we're gonna externally rotate that right leg. Now from here, you're gonna push your hips back towards the floor. So we're coming into a pigeon position, but it's a slightly easier way to come into it than what you might find in some other yoga sessions. So we're just making it really easy to move into this. So pushing back, what I want you to pay attention to is any pain in the knee, you don't go any further. And if anything, you pull out of it slightly. It's okay if your hips do not get all the way down to the floor. I just want you to feel the stretch in this pigeon pose. Come up onto the fingertips. You're gonna take a deep breath in, lift up through the chest here so we get a stretch for the front of the left leg, left thigh, left hip flexor. And then as you exhale, just very lightly on your fingertips. Yeah, so the most of the strength is actually coming from your right leg supporting you and your left back leg as well. We're gonna drop the chest down slowly towards the floor. Good, holding here. See if you can take your hands off the floor for three, two, one, nice, if you did it, amazing. Put your hands back down, come back up to center. So we wanna lift the spine here. Good, inhale, come down. Exhale, push back up. Inhale, come down, fingers are really light. For this last one, keep the hands off, extra challenge. See if you can push yourself all the way back up without your hands. Nice, alrighty. Hands come back to the mat if they're off and we're gonna pull back into that all fours position. Other side, right leg extends back behind you. Keep the toes on the floor. The left foot is going to come towards your right hand. So we're externally rotating that left leg. Okay, from here, push the hips back as far as you feel like you can. For some of you, that's gonna be all the way. Others, not so much. Find the position that's right for you. Take a deep breath in, come up onto the fingertips, lift up through the chest, and then exhale. We're gonna to start to slowly let the body come down. We're gonna take the fingertips off. Holding here for three, two, one. Put them back down, come back up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, push back up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, push back up. Inhale, come down. Hands come off, push back up. Beautiful, come back into an all fours position onto the hands and knees. Nice, okay, so now we're gonna come straight back onto our stomach. So I want you to just allow yourself to drop however you like. You can take a nice, neat lowering down of the body through chaturanga or through a knees chest chin position if you'd like, or you can just flow, depends on how you're feeling. All right, so now we've made our way onto our belly. Legs are straight behind us, hands are by our side. In fact, the elbows are gonna be bent and you're gonna place the palms down onto the floor. We're gonna take cobra, but we're gonna do an active cobra. So from here, we're gonna lift the chin and bring it as close towards our chest as we possibly can. So you're kind of retracting back here and forehead comes off the floor too. Now from here, I want you to roll the shoulders down and back and begin to lift yourself up off the floor using your back extensors. Now at the same time, I want you to draw your belly and tuck your tailbone, push your pubic bone into the floor. So you're squeezing your glutes here, lifting off. Good, and then lower back down. We're gonna do five more of those. So we're gonna lift all the way off the floor and then lower back down. The retraction of the shoulder blades really, really important here. So let's go, inhale, lift off. Hold for a second and then exhale, lower back down. Good, inhale, lift it off. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, exhale, lower back down. Good, lifting back off. And then this time, I actually want you to lift the chin and just feel the back of your neck squeeze as well. Good, and then releasing all the way back down. Place your hands onto the floor and push back into what's called child's pose. So bring the feet together, knees go out nice and wide to the edges of the mat. Push the hips to the heels. If your butt does not touch your heels, it doesn't mean that you're failing at this posture. So just allow yourself to melt into whatever position you possibly can, stretching back here. I do want you to feel as the spine is in a nice, comfortable, flexed position. We're gonna come into an all fours position as we inhale, tuck the feet in and move into 
a reclined position. So just hop through, however you wanna get there, I don't mind, you can swing your legs around the side. Either way, we're all gonna meet on our backs, knees hugging in towards the chest, just gently rocking from side to side here, massaging out through the lower back. Coming back to center, hold onto the right leg, let the left leg extend all the way down to the floor for what's called Pavan Muktasana in yoga. It also translates to wind removing pose. We are massaging right now. I didn't make that up. We're massaging our ascending colon. So sometimes you get a little bit of a nice release here in the privacy of your own home with your flatmates. <laughs> okay, hug the knee in. Let's take the leg across the body. We can come into a twist. So bring it all the way down to the floor and the right arm is gonna extend back behind you. We're not forcing anything. We're staying in this relaxed, conscious, aware position and state of being. Bring that leg back to center, hug the knee into the chest and then release it all the way down to the floor. Come to interlace your fingers. Extend your arms up above your head, point your toes and stretch and lengthen up as far apart as you possibly can. Then go ahead, hug the knees into the chest, squeeze the knees in first, rock from side to side and we'll take the other side. Keep that left leg hugging in, right leg extends down to the floor. Hold it here for a second. Pavan Muktasana, wind removing pose. One of my favorite postures, actually. Relax the front of the hip. And then we'll take the leg across the body down to the floor. Left arm extends back behind you. Try to relax the stomach here and also relax your inner thighs as you move into the twist. We'll bring it back to center. Hugging the knees in. Allow your legs to extend out on the floor in front of you, arms by your side, palms facing up at the ceiling. Let's just take a moment here to relax. Take a deep breath in. Release a full breath out. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Very slow, exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, come to interlace the fingers, extend the arms up above your head again, stretching, inhale. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest, squeeze them in, rock yourself up to a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing today. I hope you feel relaxed, calm, and ready to go check your phone because who knows what notifications there might be waiting for you after that practice, right? <laughs> Thank you. Namaste.